Hey guys, this is Josh from Palmer Creative. I was recently asked, how would you go about saving an image that's greater than the 2000 pixel maximum image size that Google Drawings will allow you to download? If you didn't know this was the limit, yes, it is. You can't download an image, whether it's a JPEG or a PNG, greater than a 2000 pixel uh, dimension. And I'd like to show you how I do it um, I'm on a Mac, so I kind of have the best of both worlds. I've got access to Google Chrome and all of its apps and extensions, um, as well as everything that's pre-built into your Mac. So if you're on a Mac, you have the tools that you need to be able to do this. Um, for PC, I know that there are um, applications out there that will do the same thing. So I think that you'll be covered as well. Um, let's just do this live on the screen here. So I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, an illustration here that I know is just totally made up of vector information. These are all vector shapes, vector data, which is infinitely scalable. So I know that I'm not going to have any limitations as far as image size because I have photos in here. I'm only limited by what Google Drive allows me to download as an image. So if I do this this way, I'm going to go in here, go to page setup, because I have this set up for a uh, Facebook image, which um, doesn't exceed the maximum that, that uh, Google Drawings allows me to download. So I'm gonna, gonna triple this so that I know that the, the image uh, ratio is still the same, but it's larger than the 2000 pixel maximum so that you can see what happens. Uh, so if I multiply this by three, I've done the math already, so I don't have to do it um, on video here. It's uh, 2,552 uh, by 945. So this does allow me to create documents that are bigger than the pixel dimensions that it will output. That's the problem. I'll click OK. And you'll see nothing changed really here on the screen because the, the ratio is still exactly the same. But if I go back here to page setup, and choose pixels, you'll see that this document is set up to be larger than 2,000 pixels. Okay, and you may run into this problem if you're, say you're creating something for a printer, a brochure, a, a poster, something that needs at least a 300 DPI image resolution. You're gonna run into this problems if you're using Google Drawings. And I'd like to show you how I get around it. What I do instead, first of all, I'm gonna go ahead and get, download this as a PNG, which is significantly better quality than downloading a JPEG. Uh, Google Drive automatically heavily compresses the JPEG images, and that's okay. I use JPEG uh, every once in a while when I need just a very uh, low uh, file size, like a preview for something I'm sending to a client. But PNG is what I wanna go with. I'm gonna choose PNG, and then if I go to my download folder, let me open this up for you. We'll look at this landscape. And you see it um, on Mac, it shows me the dimensions here in the preview window, 2000 by 740. So it's downscaled my image output to a maximum of 2000 pixels. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So here's the way to get around that. Uh, again, on a Mac, these are the tools I have. So this is how I'm gonna show you how to do it. Download it as a PDF, okay? A PDF will open in a preview, which is built into your Mac. Again, if you're on a Mac, this is how it's gonna work for you. So if I open that PDF in preview, I have more export options. So if I go up here to file and export, not export as PDF, I wanna export this as a JPEG. Um, and let's just change it here under format. You can change this to JPEG. The quality, I'm just gonna bump all the way up. So I'm just gonna move that slider all the way to the right. And you see here the image resolution I have set up to 350. That's because I use a, a printing service that uh, highly recommends using 350 at, at least for your image resolution or uh, pixels per inch or DPI. It may be called any of those things, but it basically has to do with the image resolution. Uh, and that ultimately depends on how many pixels are in that image. So I'm just gonna choose this JPEG image 
uh, at 100% quality at 350 uh, DPI or, or pixels per inch. And I click save, it's saving to my desktop. And now if I inspect this image, you see this is actually pretty large. It's a 2.6 megabyte file. And under dimensions, let me highlight that right there. It's six, uh, six or excuse me, it's, it's 9,304 by 3,441. And that was converted from the PDF that we downloaded from Google Drawings. And I can open this image now up in preview again. And I'll just show you that if I zoom into actual size, this, this file is huge and very, very crisp. So that's actual size. And if I zoomed in more than actual size, you will start to see uh, preview doing its very best to anti-alias the pixels as it zooms in. So that's how I go about getting larger images exported from my Google Drawings. Um, Google Drawings is a vector graphic piece of software. Um, I don't know, again, like I said, I don't, I don't know, I can't explain to you why uh, Google has that limitation of, of downloading as a 2,000 2, pixel limit, but that's how I get around it. Uh, so you can do the same thing if you're on a Mac. I don't know how to do it yet if you're on a Chromebook uh, or just using exclusively Chrome extensions or, or web apps or websites even. Um, there's uh, a few of them that do give you more options with your PDFs, but not being able to export to specific DPI or image resolution options. Uh, Cloud Convert does give you that ability, but what it doesn't have is automatic anti-aliasing. So you will be able to take a PDF and export it to a JPEG, say at 6,000 DPI, but those edges uh, are going to be like very very uh, hard edges, like pick, you'll see the pixels, rather than a nice smooth anti-aliasing that, that uh, for some reason preview does that already very well, like Photoshop and other programs do. Um, but Cloud Convert doesn't do that for some reason. So it, it does convert the vector information into an image format at a high resolution, but it doesn't anti-alias. Uh, so if you find another way of doing this, if you have a better way of doing it, uh, please let me know. Uh, and, and also let me know if this helps solve that problem for you. Again, I'm on a Mac, so I, 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 I'm able to show you how I do it. But um, I haven't figured out how to do it with just uh, exclusively Chrome uh, applications or web apps. So if you do find out, please let us know and I will, we'll pass on this uh, information. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye for now.